I have a document set up here with a uh, frame and some text. Um, images can be placed inside a frame such as this one <coughs> or can be placed freely and are automatically framed. If the images are placed into a frame then the image and frame can be fitted to each other. If you know the approximate area that you want the image to fill then use the rectangular frame tool to create a frame for the image. Here's the rectangular frame tool and also the rectangle tool. Each of, each of those can be used and you'll note there's additional tools under each one. So you choose the rectangular frame tool for example and draw a frame. And then you could use the uh, black arrow to resize the frame or move the frame. In this case I'm going to place the image into this frame over here. Select the frame with the direct selection tool, the black arrow. Click File, Place, and browse to an image. In this case I'm using the Photoshop samples folder. I'm going to select the fish Photoshop file. Uh, many many types of image files including PDS, PDF, EPS, uh, TIFF, JPEG, uh, PNG can be uh, placed into InDesign. When I click open because I have a frame selected it's going to place the image right into the frame. See there it is. And by the way, if I click exactly in the center of the frame, it selects the image. This is the dimensions of the image. And if I click on the click away and then click on the edge of the frame, I select the frame itself rather than the image. Once the frame is in the image, it can be fitted to the frame in a variety of ways. Um, the simplest thing is to go to Object, Fitting, and Fit Content Proportionally. This makes the image fit in the frame without distorting its shape. You can also do object fitting fit frame to content which makes the frame the same size as the image. Now if the image or the image can be enlarged by dragging the corners with the shift key held down this keeps it um, keeps the portions constant and then if you have the image selected you can drag it around inside the frame to determine what part of the image will be visible. Uh, if the image is over text the uh, text can be made to flow around the image by going to the text wrap panel that's under window text wrap I already have it open and clicking on the second or third icons and you see now the text is flowing around the frame instead of going under it. Uh, that's really all I have here. Uh, if you don't have anything selected and you place the frame you'll get a loaded cursor. Let's do that quickly. File, Place, and choose something and click Open. And now you see I have a loaded cursor that shows a thumbnail of the picture and I can put it anywhere I want. And it comes in at its full size and then I could resize it in a variety of ways such as using the um, width and height up here. Uh, after you've got your images placed where you want them be sure and save your file under File Save As. Thank you for coming and that's all for today.